one another. A St. Mary's win means they are outright champ. They already have a share of it. If OG could get by Elida tonight, and then they beat St. Mary's next week, it'll be a three-way tie with the Redskins if they can get past Van Wert. You have that all on your chalkboard at home. You've got it all squared away. Well, the Titans, their home finale. They got a win tonight to make any of that possible. And hosting an Elida team, five and three, but less than a 2% chance to make the playoffs, according to Drew Pasteur, even if they finish seven and three. But what a game from Titans Stadium. 14-7 OG in the second quarter. Connor Neese playing defense like he does all season long. Look at this pick. You can't see it too well because Mr. 35 got a good view of it, but it's an interception. Jake Hoffman, his story was running tonight, but here he gets a little out to Neese, who picks up six yards. They're marching, trying to go up two scores. Third and one, Kaufman will keep it. This is the shortest highlight of the night for Mr. Kaufman. This next one is not the longest. Fakes the pitch, and he takes off. 54-yard touchdown, 21-7. OG on the Kaufman score. That Titan defense tough in the first half. Brett Llewellyn getting in the backfield for the sack. Nine yard loss. Isaac McAdams just trying to make up some ground. Great coverage in the secondary by the Titans. McAdams takes off, gets nine yards, but Elida would have to punt and Kaufman, look at this play on the option. He's gone. 80 yards, no one's catching him. He ran 14 times for 246 yards in the first half. 28-7 OG, but Elida not going away. McAdams looking to Daniel Unruh over the middle. Two minute drill, working well for Coach Speller. First down, then McAdams to Cole Harmon. Great job by the offensive line of Elida. That makes it 28-14 the half. Elida comes back and ties it, sends it to a first overtime. They go to a second overtime, and OG gets a huge win. 42-35, keeping their WBL playoff hopes, or not playoff hopes, WBL championship hopes alive. We'll talk with Aaron Matthews about that wild, wild Western Buckeye League in just a little bit.